Okay, for you young guys out there, Lou Depot here continuing with the class what a zone of heat is. And basically it's this, what we're going to do now is cut the house into two zones of heat to make things a lot easier on the boiler and let the water return a lot hotter so the whole house gets warm. And basically what they do is they have the boiler and instead of having one zone like we went over in the last class, this time what they'll do is they'll put a manifold with two circulators and two returns and they'll cut the house into two and basically what will happen is the baseboard will leave the circulator and feed the half the house with baseboard upstairs downstairs and return into one of the returns the second zone We'll continue out of the circulator. I'll do it in a different color. I hope you can see green. And they'll go up and they'll do the bedrooms and maybe a bathroom and return into the boiler. Now, by cutting it into two zones, the water only has to make half the trip and back. And then the second circulator takes care of the other half of the house with the second zone. And then if the house is really large, you can add a third zone, and a fourth zone, and so on and so on and so on. So the water takes very short trips and back to the boiler, so it maintains its 180, 160. It can cool down to 160. Basically, boilers are designed 180 out, 160 back, because the water does cool some. But once it starts cooling too much below that, that room doesn't really get heat. And that's why they call it zones. And by the way, every time you have a circulator at a zone, you have another thermostat in the house. So if you ever want to know how many zones the, circ the, the house has and you can't get down to the boiler room, count the thermostats. And ask the homeowner how many thermostats they have. That's how many zones they'll have. Okay, and that's what a zone of heat is. So I hope this helps you guys. When people start talking about zones and this and that, right away they lose you because you have no clue what they're talking about. Are you new guys that are coming up into the field? That's exactly what a zone is. And it could be radiant heat. It could be zoned off in hot air systems. It doesn't physically have to be hot water baseboard. It can be hot air too, where they have motorized controls in the duct work that closes off a duct to one zone and opens another or so on. Okay? I hope this helps.